hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you guys how i made this simple underbust corset top with ankara and crepe fabric it's a very simple tutorial and very beginner friendly so guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe to my channel so let's jump right into the video now so i've gone ahead to use the pattern we drafted in our previous video to cut out my fabric so that is the upper part of the front panel and i cut out the lining as well these are the lower parts with the lining then that is the back panel with the lining pieces as well so right now we're going to be working on the front panel first before we move to the back panel so after i remove my pattern paper this is what we have for the front panel this is what it looks like so the next thing we want to do now is to join these pieces of fabric together i'm going to go ahead and place it right sides facing each other this way and use my pin to secure it so just go ahead and secure with your pin as you can see me doing in the video so i'll take it to my sewing machine now and stitch it on the two sides by half an inch then when i'm done with that i'm going to take my lining pieces and turn over the neckline of the upper part i'll just stitch it all the way down using half an inch so when i'm done doing that i'll show you guys the next thing to do so after joining the pieces of fabric together this is what it looks like i've also ironed it out so this is what you should have as well so for the upper part i'm going ahead to turn over the neckline with the lining pieces and i went ahead to iron it out so i've also joined the lining pieces for the lower part together as you can see so i'm going to be using this lining pieces now to turn it over so I'll place the right sides facing each other this way, then take it to my sewing machine and stitch it using half an inch, just like I demonstrated. Then for the lower parts, I'll go ahead and use half an inch to stitch it on the right side. So I'll be using a loose stitch for that so that I can pull it to form my gathers when I'm done. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. So after attaching my lining to the fabric, this is what it looks like. I also went ahead to make small notches at the edge just to make turning over easy right now go ahead and flip it over to the right side so flip it over to the right side so this is what you should have after doing that so i'll go ahead and iron it out now so i went ahead to make the loose stitches on the lower parts just like i said earlier so i'll go ahead now and pick out one of the threads I'll pick it out and then I'll begin to pull pull it this way just to form my gathers at the base. So I used a loose tension while sewing this. So make sure you take the measurement of what you have there and make sure it's the same thing with what you have on your top. So while pulling it, take the measurements and make sure it's the same so that it will fit properly into the cup. So right now, I'm just going to form my gathers this way and take it to my sewing machine and stitch it together. Like I'll place it on, I'll place it on the top and then stitch it to it. Make sure you match the neck points together as well. So I'm forming my gathers more on the under bust points directly. So you can use your pin to secure it on it before you stitch it. But for me, I'll just do it this way. Take it to my sewing machine and stitch it all the way down as you can see. So when i'm done doing that i'll show you guys what it looks like so guys after stitching together this is what it looks like you can see the gathered effect on the bust point so this is what the wrong side looks like and this is the right side so right now i'll set this aside while we work on our back panel so while cutting out my fabric for the back panel i went ahead to add my one inch zipper allowance to it at the lower part so the next the first thing you want to do now is to turn it over with your lining pieces so i was starting with the upper part the white fabric so i've gone ahead to cut out my lining pieces so i'll use it to turn over the neckline just like i did with the front panel so i'll place it this way right side facing each other and i'll take it to my sewing machine and stitch it down using half an inch so i'll repeat the same thing for the other side just place it this way and stitch it down to turn it over so when i'm done with that i'll show you guys the next thing to do so after turning over with my lining this is what i have this is i went ahead to also iron it out so the next one i want to do is to attach it to the lower back or lower part of the back panel so i'll go ahead now and place it 
right sides facing each other as, as you can see me doing the video so remember that we have our zipper allowance on the lower part of the top so i'm going to take that into consideration as well so i would take my tape row and make sure i have one inch gap there that will be my zipper allowance so i'll place the right side of my lining facing is this way so just use your pin to secure it down so that it won't move when you are sewing it so i'll just use my pins to secure the fabrics together the three fabrics together right i'll take it to my sewing machine and stitch it down using half an inch so when i'm done i would have something like this after stitching don't forget to make small notches there before you turn it over so i'll repeat the same thing for the other side and i'll show you guys what it looks like when i'm done so after turning over with my lining this is what i have i also went ahead to iron it out and you can see how neat it came out this is the wrong side of the top so by the time we attach our zipper to it it's going to look this way so it's going to come out like this by the time we attach our zipper to it the next thing we want to do now is to join the front and the back pieces together so i'll just go and get my front piece now so i'll place it this way and then i'll place my back piece on it right sides facing each other and i'll just use my paint to secure the shoulders so that it won't move when i'm sewing it so i'll do the same thing for the other side so i'll just use my pins to secure it together as you can see me doing the video so right now I'll take it to my sewing machine and i'll stitch it using half an inch on the shoulder i'll do it for the two sides and then when i'm done with that i'll go over to the side remember we took one and a half inch for seam allowance while drafting our pattern so i will join the two sides together using my one and a half inch seam allowance so when i'm done doing that i will show you guys the next thing to do so after joining the front and the back pieces together this is what we have this is how it came out this is the back part so by the time we attach our zipper to it it's going to look like this just like this so the next one we want to do now is to attach our zipper and the lower part of this top so i have this white zipper i'll be working with for this top so i'll just show you guys now how i'm going to be attaching my zipper so i would place it this way on the one inch zip allowance so i'll make sure my it's my zip is going to stop where my ankara fabric is stopping at the base so i'll take my pin now and secure it just as you see me doing in the video So just secure it down using your pin so that it will come out neatly when you sew it so just secure it this way so when i get to the top i'm going to just fold in my zip to the other side and then use my pin to hold it down so when i sew it to come out like this this is what you have after sewing it so i'll do the same thing for the other side so make sure the teeth of your zipper is facing the other side while the the other side of the zip is going to go inside your top i hope you understand what i'm saying but if you don't understand just follow what i'm doing in the video so by the time i stitch it down it's also going to look like this so right now i'll do that and show you guys so after attaching the zipper to the back panel this is how it came out you can see how neat it looks so our gathers is going to be starting from where our zipper stopped so right now i'm going to show you guys how to attach your gathers to the lower part so i have this fabric i cut out already so i'm just going to show you guys how to pleat it so i'm going to close the side before i attach it to my to my top i'll close the edge this the, the two edges so the fabric is about seven inches long after folding at the base so right now i'm just going to place it right side facing each other and then i'll take it to my sewing machine and while i'm joining it i'll be forming gathers on it this way i'll be forming pleats on it this way 
all the way around it so when i'm done doing that i'll show you guys what it looks like so after attaching the lower part to our top this is what it looks like you can see how beautiful it came out you can see our top coming out so beautiful already so this is what it looks like at the back the next thing we want to do now is to cut out our sleeve and attach it to the top so we already drafted out this sleeve in my previous video so i won't be using the slash and spread method for this sleeve anymore because of the amount of fabric i have so i'm just going to be using a simple sleeve that i'll be showing you guys in the video so i'll go ahead and cut it out on my fabric So just go ahead and cut it out this way. So I'll be using this sleeve now to cut out the second sleeve and then I'll show you guys the next thing to do. So I have my two sleeves cut out already. So the next thing I'm going to do now is take it to my sewing machine and stitch it using half an inch all the way down. I'll do the same thing for the other side. Then when I'm done with it, I will just go ahead and fold in the base twice half an inch once and half an inch again then i'll show you guys the next thing so after closing up and turning over this is what i have this is what it looks like so the next thing i'm going to do now is show you guys how to attach the elastic band at the base of the sleeve so to get length of elastic band just take your elastic band and wrap it around your wrist to get a comfortable length for yourself so attach it to your pin this way and then pass it through the space you left while sewing the sleeve just pass it in this way till you get to the other side of the of the opening so after passing out to the other side of the opening i'll just go ahead and use my pin to join the two sides together and then i will take it to my sewing machine and stitch it down or stitch it down that way So after I'm done doing that, I'll show you guys how to attach your sleeve to your top. So to attach your sleeve to your top, take the point where you joined your sleeve together, the right side, and match it to the right side of the armhole point where you joined your top. So go ahead and use your pin to secure it together this way. So I'll just go ahead now and keep using my pin to hold it down to my top this way. So I'll just turn over to the other side and use my pin to secure it. So I'll have a bit of excess at the top of the sleeve. So I'll just use it to form some pleats there. As you can see me doing the video and pin it down. So by the time I sew my sleeve, it's going to come out this way. So I would also finish up the base, close up the points where the elastic. I'll do the same thing for the other sleeve and then I'll show you guys so guys after inserting the sleeve this is what it looks like you can see the pleats i made at the top this is what the sleeve looks like so this is the finished product of our top you can see how easy it is to make and how beautiful it came out so guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful share it to your loved ones subscribe to my channel so i'll see you guys in my next video and you can also follow me on instagram at so with Mediva.